Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson, and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, the voice cast of the Cowboy Bebop anime returned for Netflix's live action adaptation, Attack on Titan's final premiere date announced, and The Rock goes up against Vin Diesel. Let's drop it. <laughs> There's some good news for Cowboy Bebop fans on the horizon when it comes to the upcoming Netflix adaptation of the popular anime series. Now, according to EW, who first broke the news, the original voice actors of the Cowboy Bebop anime series will be returning to reprise their roles, providing the Japanese dub for the show. Now, Netflix managed to get the entire main cast that were involved in the original's Japanese voice dub of Cowboy Bebop, including Vicious, Julia, the Cowboy TV hosts on the Big Shot program, Punch and Judy, Teddy Bomber, and many more. More. Now, Netflix spared absolutely no expense and went all out to land the original Japanese voice actors involved in the show. Now, in a statement with Entertainment Weekly, original voice actor for Spike, Koichi Yamadera, said, quote, I have long anticipated a live action version. I can feel the strong respect it has towards the anime. I hope that viewers will see the atmosphere of the Spike character that I previously portrayed in John Cho's performance, who is skillfully taking on the role in this version. Meaning the original voice actor who played Spike has seen the live action series and with that kind of praise coming from the man who originally portrayed the iconic anime character, maybe we should hold out some hope for this live action adaptation. Now while I did watch the Japanese dub in my later years, I think Steve Blum is likely the Spike for a lot of us in the Western world. Would be interesting to see him overdub an episode or two of the live action series, but you know what? I wouldn't want to take John Cho's flowers away from him before we even see his performance. Yep, and the number two nozzle won't work either. What? Are you for real? We can't live oh, well. without them. I knew I Whatever should happens, I'm happens. But you know what? If you, however, are longing for the soothing tones of Steve Blum as Spike Spiegel, Netflix recently announced that they'll be carrying all 26 episodes of the original anime set to debut on the streaming giant October 21st. Now, as for the live action series, you'll have to wait a little bit longer, November 19th. It's almost here, y'all. Now, in other anime news, we finally got a release date for the second half of the final chapter in the Attack on Titan anime series, along with a new trailer. Now, set to come rumbling down on January 9th, 2022, the trailer gives us very brief glimpses of what's in store for Aaron and company. Now, manga readers already know what's up, but if you've managed to not be tempted to thumb right to left and stuck to just watching the anime, you're in for a pretty big surprise. Now, everyone is visibly on edge, which isn't a surprise given Aaron's actions in the first half of the final season. Now, viewers might remember that the first half ended with Aaron setting up a coup against his homeland, capturing his past allies along the way, and waging war on Marley. How will it all end? We'll have to wait till next year, January 9th, to find out when Attack on Titan, the final season, premieres. And finally, The Rock and Vin Diesel are still button bald heads, y'all. Dwayne The Rock Johnson revealed in an interview with Vanity Fair that he only agreed to be in The Fate and the Furious if he didn't have any scenes with Diesel. He said, quote, I wanted to forego drama. I thought that that was the best thing to do for everybody. Now, the feud started back in 2016 when Johnson called a few of his male co-stars candy asses in an interview. Now, Johnson and Diesel had a chit-chat in his trailer, at which point The Rock says, The Rock says, it was crystal clear the two were just on opposite sides of the spectrum. Now, Diesel spoke out about the feud earlier this year, this summer actually, claiming he was just giving Johnson some tough love to assist him in his performance. Now, the beef between these two, uh, it's, it's the real deal, y'all. Not like the playful back and forth he's had with Kevin Hart. Now, maybe, I don't know, they can settle this in the ring or better yet, drop a few bars. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hours and take what's ours. Damn, like he's in the top 10 rappers Eminem is afraid to diss. Not because he's got better bars, it's because The Rock is massive. He grinds up Eminem's for his workout smoothies every morning. Yeah, only in the moments. And that was your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawance, and thank y'all so much for watching. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out this breakdown of the Dragon Ball Super Superhero Timeline. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, keep it locked right here on IGN. Desecration, defamation, if you want to bring it to the masses. Face to face, now we escalating. When I have to butt boost the asses. Mean on ya, like a dream.